Welcome to Trump Wire, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Almost everything we use today, phones, cars, computers, relies on tiny semiconductor chips. These chips are the heart of modern technology, making our lives faster and more connected, but making them is incredibly hard, requiring some of the most complex machines ever built. The most important of these is the lithography machine, which uses light to print tiny, intricate patterns onto silicon. The smaller the patterns, the more powerful the chip. That's why the race to build better lithography machines is so crucial. It's a race to control the future of technology. For years, ASML from the Netherlands has led this field, giving its allies a huge advantage. Now, China wants to build its own advanced chip-making machines and control its technological destiny. This has sparked a global technology race. The world is watching. Can China catch up to ASML? This isn't just business, it's a battle for technological leadership that will shape the 21st century. The outcome will decide who leads the next wave of innovation. China's quest is a story of ambition, challenge, and the incredible complexity of the chips that run our world. The US saw China's tech ambitions as a threat and responded with strict export controls. These rules blocked American companies, and their allies in the Netherlands and Japan, from selling advanced chip-making equipment to China. Without ASML's best machines, China couldn't make the world's most powerful chips. The goal slowed China's progress and keep the technological edge, but China didn't back down. Instead it launched a massive national plan to become self-sufficient, pouring billions into its semiconductor industry. The strategy called Made in China 2025 aims to build a complete domestic supply chain. Technological independence is now a top priority for China's leaders. The government is supporting local companies, encouraging top scientists, and investing heavily. China's plan is not just to survive the ban, but to emerge stronger with a world-class chip industry. The technology competition has become a high-stakes race against time. The world is watching to see who will win. China's chip dream relies on a team of ambitious companies and researchers. The most prominent is Shanghai Microelectronics Equipment, or SME, which leads China's lithography efforts. SME -E has made machines for older chips, but struggles with the most advanced tools. AMES Technology, a recent spin-off, is focused on bringing new products to market faster. Psi Carrier, backed by Shenzhen and linked to Huawei, is developing creative ways to make advanced chips with older machines, like self-aligned quadruple patterning. This shows China isn't just copying, it's innovating. University researchers like those at Zhejiang University are also pushing boundaries with precision tools, though these are still too slow for mass production. Yuliang Sheng has supplied a 28 nanometer lithography system for testing, a step toward modern chip production. Together these companies and research groups form a national team, backed by huge investments. Ames alone has 600 technical experts. Each player, Ames, Sci Carrier, University Labs, and Yuliang Sheng, brings unique strengths. They are on the front lines of China's fight for technological independence. The world is watching their progress closely. To understand the chip race you need to know about Dove and EUV lithography machines. Dove or Deep Ultraviolet has been the standard for years using short wavelength light to print small features, but as chips advanced, Dove reached its limits. Enter EUV Extreme Ultraviolet, with a wavelength over 10 times shorter, allowing for even tinier patterns in a single step. The difference is like drawing with a thick marker versus a fine pen. EUV is the key to making the most advanced chips, like those at 5 nanometers and below. Building an EUV machine is one of the hardest engineering feats ever. EUV light is so powerful it's absorbed by almost everything, so the machine must operate in a perfect vacuum with ultra-smooth mirrors. The light source itself is a marvel a laser hits molten tin droplets to create plasma and EUV light. Only ASML has mastered this, making its machines uniquely valuable. China faces a huge challenge to catch up. The race is on to see if anyone else can match ASML's achievement. China hasn't built a mass-production EUV machine yet, but it's making real progress. Ames dominates advanced packaging lithography in China and holds a significant global share. This proves Chinese companies can compete in specific parts of the industry. In 2023, 
Huawei shocked the world with a smartphone powered by a 7 nanometer chip, likely made using older DUV machines and advanced multi-patterning. This innovation showed China could work around technology blockades. By August 2025, Ames had shipped its 500th stepper lithography machine, proving reliable manufacturing and a strong customer base. Each machine sold builds experience and funds further research. These steps are crucial for China's long-term ambition. By mastering DUV and niche markets, Chinese companies are building a solid foundation. They're proving they can design, build, and sell complex machinery. This progress gives them confidence to tackle EUV in the future. Each small win is a step closer to catching up with ASML. The journey is long, but momentum is building. Despite progress, China faces huge obstacles on the road to chip independence. Lithography machines are incredibly complex, made of hundreds of thousands of specialized parts. Reverse engineering even older DUV machines has proven extremely difficult. In one case, Chinese engineers damaged a critical part and had to call ASML for help. A humbling lesson, ASML's decades of R&D and global supplier network are hard to replicate. China is trying to rebuild this ecosystem from scratch a monumental task. Lab breakthroughs, like Zhejiang University's e-beam tool, are promising but too slow for factories. Sometimes claims of breakthroughs are overstated, like the retracted announcement of a 28 nanometer DUV machine. Progress is not a straight line. There will be setbacks. Catching up isn't just about money or talent, it's about mastering technical detail and system integration. ASML's lead is built on years of experience and collaboration. China's challenge is to close this gap, step by painstaking step. The race is far from over. The chip race isn't just about China and ASML, it's reshaping the entire world. The global supply chain, once built on cooperation, is now fracturing as every region tries to do everything itself. This makes the system less efficient and more expensive. Tensions are affecting global markets. In late 2025, China made up 42% of ASML's sales, rushing to buy Dove machines before tighter controls. The tech war is also about raw materials. China controls much of the world's rare earth minerals, essential for high-tech products. Beijing could restrict exports, creating problems for the US, Europe, and Japan. The world is splitting into two tech ecosystems, one led by the US and allies, the other by China. Companies and countries may soon have to pick sides. This could slow innovation as collaboration becomes harder. The chip race is redrawing the map of technological power. Decisions made today will shape the global economy for decades. Has China left ASML in the dust? The answer is no. ASML is still the only company producing EUV machines for mass production. Its latest high NA EUV system set the standard for the next generation of chips. China's main progress is in DUV technology, aiming for independence at mature nodes like 28 nanometers. Clever techniques, like multi-patterning let China make more advanced chips with older tools. The 7 nanometer chip in Huawei's phone is a smart workaround, not a true EUV breakthrough. Creating a domestic EUV machine is vastly more complex, it requires a global network of suppliers and decades of expertise. China is investing heavily, but this isn't a problem money alone can solve. The real race is long term. China is building a foundation in DUV, hoping to compete in EUV in the future. ASML is still far ahead, but China is determined and making steady progress. The competition is just beginning. China's journey to semiconductor independence is long and challenging. Strong government support and determination have driven rapid progress. Companies like Ames and SciCarrier show China can innovate in key areas. The 7 nanometer chip by SMIC and Huawei proved China can overcome barriers, but building homegrown EUV machines is still a distant goal. The technical gap with ASML could take a decade or more to close. China must master a dozen advanced technologies and build a new ecosystem from scratch. This is a marathon, not a sprint. U.S. actions and sanctions will influence China's pace, but may also fuel its resolve. The global chip industry's future will be shaped by this ongoing battle. China hasn't left ASML behind, but it's moving forward with speed and focus. The race for the future is far from over.